Hello YouTube, this is Jerry D in Tennessee. Um, I talked about MarketCaster as an e-trade um, e tool. And this is a video of it actually running. And uh, you can keep it on your watch list. And as if your uh, stocks that go up turn green and the stocks are going down, turn red and the stocks are just kind of sitting there doing nothing well just they just won't be red or green so there's no instructions on the on the website on eTrade's website so I thought I'd just uh, give a few things a few uh, bits of information if somebody wants to try to get this open JDK working I mean this well Get this application working. One of the things you will need. I lost my train of thought. Um, you will need a Java runtime version. So if you go. If we go and search for Java. J-R-E. No, not G-R-E. G-R-E. So if you go to java.com you can download I believe the runtime's free and it may take you the Oracle no it's not done that yet but now as of As of Java version 8, update 261, Oracle wants you to license Java, as in buy a license to use it. And uh, they started doing this. Um, they put out the information April 16th, 2019, and I think uh, by January 2020, uh, if you were using the JRE or JDK from Oracle's site, you were supposed to have buy a license from Oracle. I don't know any details on that, and that's not what this uh, this video was about. So my workaround is I just go to the Open JDK, which is the same thing, but it's an open version, open source project version of Java. Was Java when it was first started, and up until the time Oracle decided the license, it has been free. So you can go to the openjdk.java.net site and install the OpenJDK. Um, I'm not sure which one's the latest one. I'm running Java 10 and I've not updated it in a while. So installing standard edition. Oh, this is still going to go to Oracle. It's been a while since I've downloaded this stuff. So so you can still download, I guess. Java Standard Edition. To build to deploy. Let's, let's go back. Open source JDK for most popular Linux distributions. Well, let's do this. Download and install OpenJDK. All right, open JDK. All right, this is instructions for installing it. And this tells you what to do with it once you download it. So if we go straight to that, ready for use. Early access JDK 16. 
JDK 15, its release version, which is the most stable version. JDK 16 may have um, have code in it that's not been fully tested and may not be fully functional or work as expected. So the person, if a person was just now setting up Java, I would go with the JDK 15. So that being said, back in uh, back at I think uh, Java 1.8. 1.8, they decided to deprecate WebStart. So, this um, market caster that DTrade uses is a Java WebStart application. There's a JLNP, JNLP file that gets downloaded when you want to run it to your desktop through your browser. You click on the downloaded file, and if you have your environment set up correctly, the market caster will run. So, just installing the JDK is not going to be enough because as of Java 1.8 or Java 8, as most people call it, they decided they were going to remove WebStart from Java, which opened up a whole can of worms because there's a lot of applications that use WebStart. So... From Java 1.8 to Java 10, I believe. Yeah, up to Java 10. If you go to IST, the open source project for IST, which is ist.classpath.org, uh, you can install IST into your... Um, Job environment. Okay, if you go past ten, you're better. You're better off trying to use Open Web Start. It's it's written to run from Java eleven and up. And right here's even a little note on the page here. Java Web Start was deprecated to Java nine, which means they removed it. But actually, a few of the downloads. Of Java 8, I had found out I had installed some updates that Oracle asked me to install. It just pops up saying we need to we need to apply some security patches and it doesn't up up get to date with some patching. Well one of those patches ended up removing Java Web Start from me and that's what's that's what sent me down this road on how to get it running. Because I, I, I'm a developer, I work in IT. I've been doing this, this stuff for since the 80s. And uh, Java's one of the things that I deal with daily at work. So I have one applica application that is also a web start application at work that I have to support. So this was all important information that I needed to learn that uh, would uh, be useful for my job. But anyway... Uh, back back on the track here. So, if you are installing any version of Java above eleven, well, eleven and above, you need to use Open Web Start because the support for IST only goes up to Java ten. IST will only support up to Java ten, and they got branched off to Open Web Start. Or maybe the develop one or two of the developers moved off and created this new project. But anyway, this this is the one if you want the latest and greatest version of Java, open web start is what you want to install on top of that. And they'll have instructions online to tell you how to download it and install it. So once once you have all the files in place, the application does run. And It kind of irritated me that um, that E-Trade did not, I did not see any inf information. They have to just have a link to download and run the market caster off the main page. When you go and look at your main page after you log into your E-Trade account, 
there's some links on the right hand side of the page if you scroll down a little bit on the page and <coughs> excuse me this uh, market caster is one of the links but it's just a link <coughs> Excuse me. It's cooling off outside and my allergies are starting to pick up. But anyway, so what do you need to run the mar this this market caster streaming um, application from eTrade? One, you need you need to download Java. I like I said I tend to go to the open source because Oracle's got a little strange and decided they want you to pay for Java. So, like I said before, you go to the open JDK uh, sites and you can download the JDK. You can do a Google search and get to this link, but jdk.java.net And there you can download the uh, zip or tars. Depending on tars will be if you're in Linux app if you're in a Linux environment or Unix environment. The zip is if you're in Windows. Also the tar, they have a version for Mac OS right here too, which is also tar, which is uh open BSD is Mac Mac went and took a Apple took and then open BSD and turn into its new OS. So it's basically a Unix Linux type flavor operating system. So you install the JDK, then you go and download open web start. There'll be some uh, there'll be some jar files, Java archives that you will drop down into the live folder and there should be detailed instructions. If anybody gets stuck on this trying to install this Make a comment down below, and uh, I'll go into a little more details. I may set up an environment, and I may uh, just uh, go through everything and and show you how I would set up the environment to run the market caster. But I find it to be a useful tool, and um, I continue to I will continue to use it as long as it's available for, on their website, just because I like it and it gives me. It gives me, a, I can look for the green and see what stocks are up that I'm watching at the time. And, you know, based on if if I'm intending to sell the stocks after 30% or whatever a spike on the stock, then I can see that visually. I can just glance over it while I'm still working at, at my job and I don't have to keep my eye on in on the e-trade site all the whole time looking up my tickers i've got all of them grouped up and i can put the top gainers i can sort it by top gainers and i know what what stocks you know by percent i usually buy per percent change and it puts the highest change up to the top but um yeah i know what stocks i need to um I can go if I I can change an order to sell or whatever. I usually have orders on. I've got pretty high, probably about a hundred percent gain set to sell, and then I can drop my order down to whatever I need to to get out of the stock. But anyway, I hope I've not been too confusing. If I have any requests, if I have requests, people wanting to see me set up an environment. Uh, to get this working, then um, I'll create a video and I'll publish that as well. So, but uh, I find it's a useful tool. I'm just disappointed that there's no information on how to run this thing on the website. You kind of have to know what you're doing with Java to run it. So, uh, there's no user manual with the, with the market streamer. Uh, let's put it that way. But uh, this is a quick overview though on the pieces you need to get it running and um, use it on your desktop. So um, if anybody needs more information, send me a message down below in the comments section, and uh, we'll see if we can put out a little more detailed video on how to get this thing running and show you how to run it. Uh, 
appreciate you folks um, for uh, checking out the video. And um, again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a stock advisor. I just this is just the hobby I have. Something I do, and I'm creating these videos for education and in the entertainment purposes as well. So. Um, I wish you all luck in your trading, and uh, again, if you want any more information on this, just leave me some uh, a message down in the comments, and we'll put a little more details. We'll we'll put together an OS system and uh, get this thing kicking. All right, well, you have a good night, and thank you for checking out the video. Hey, thanks for coming by. Um, glad you checked out the video. I hope you liked it. If you like it, please click on the like button. And uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Um, may God bless you, and I hope you have a good day. Bye.